July 9th, 2008. All right, I'm ready to rock and roll. I gotta get up out of here. I've been in Jackson Hole for two days. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get to like it. I slept like 12 and a half hours, so it's 6 a.m. I gotta make it to Pinedale today, hopefully. It's gonna be all road riding, so it's kind of gonna suck, but uh, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to get out of here. I gotta pack up my stuff, and I'm gone. Well, I have left Jackson. I've made it about 10 miles. I'm in a place called Hoback Junction. It's pretty much just a fork in the road. And uh, road is all that's it, road is all that I, is all that I'm on. It's a freaking road. There's no shoulder, so it's uh, it's pretty scary. Probably the scary, probably the most scared I've been on the whole trip. I mean, because I'm right in the middle of the road, and semis and buses and hippies and uh, <laughs> you name it, man. They're coming at you. You think they put a shoulder on this road, but uh... well. This is my only camping right here. Only source of water for 46 miles. I've gone 58. So I gotta camp here. It's already late. I could hop in there and take a little bath. <laughs> Shower! <laughs> Woo wee! It's chilly, chilly cold. As a man, I do that in the morning. Come on. Honestly, I can't even begin to tell you how good that feels. The water's so cold, it just it just revives every bone in your body. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Well, here's my campsite, in case you're wondering. There's the road I have to go up tomorrow. Camped right down here by this bush. My bike's uh, behind that bush. Uh, here's where I came from. I can get this around. Well, the 11th of July is in the books. Probably, the, I'm, this is probably the most tired I've been on the whole trip. It's all catching up to me now. And I put in some miles today. Whew. Hard miles. Somewhere around 70. Almost 80, I think. Oh. Tomorrow I'm heading towards Rollins. Rollins, Wyoming. Good morning. See what I have a car? I need a ride home. Well, I froze last night. I hate Wyoming. I'm about 10 miles outside of Lander and just stopped at this RV park to, uh, get something to eat it's pretty it's pretty fascinating it's an old uh, ghost town that they've turned into their own little town I don't know it's just pretty funny there's like pretty much kids running the whole place that's who's making my food but there's the general store and it says there's one of the signs that says the cafes down yonder so you walk through here and this is pretty much Main Street there's City Hall. <laughs> and they live. People live in there. I mean, how would you like to own your own guest? Your own, uh, 
ghost town. It'd be pretty damn cool. There's the marshal's office right there. That would be the justice of the peace. And then down there is the cafe where I'm eating. And then there's a little river that goes through here. <laughs> but, but this is the funny part. This is why I'm laughing. <laughs> Listen to these things. <laughs> I love the way they sound. That's what I sound like when I wake up after a fifth of whiskey. I roll out of bed and make that sound. <laughs> Almost sounds like they're saying, help. What are you doing, little pooch and Alex? Hi there. Hi, little one. Oh, it's just a little one. Yes, you will. He'll bite him. <laughs> well, I'm leaving the Sleeping Bear RV park. I wish I would have stayed here last night. It's so cool. It's an old ghost town and a bunch of kids that work there and the dad and the mom and it's just awesome. Sleeping Bear is outside of Lander. You gotta check it out. All right. So here I go, on my way. Well, I'm walking my bike up a, another pass. It's the divide, but I'm going over the divide on this pass. It's a nightmare. But there's food everywhere, and I'll bet you didn't know where. All this black, rubber-looking stuff that they fill cracks with on the highway, it's all made out of cooking oil. It's really good, too. I mean, it just it really helps you out when you're in a, in a bed bad way. What I've done is I found some. As you can see, it's really it doesn't look too edible, but oh it's so good. <laughs> oh fuck. Mmm good that is good Mmm, look at all that food! It's made out of cooking oil! Mmm! <laughs> Where the hell am I? I hate Wyoming! Look at this shit. No water, no nothing. I got 30 miles till the next podunk town. Uh, not sure what I'm doing. Well, it's now two o'clock, which means I've broken a record. I've been pushing my bike for four hours up this shit. Don't ever go to Larson. Don't ever go to Wyoming. If you must, the uh, Yellowstone and Jackson Hole is it. Anything east of that? is shit. Garbage, nothing to see. The people are all assholes. The whole state's a pile of shit, if you ask me. Well, I'm at Sweetwater Station, Wyoming. There's Sweetwater Station. And of course, it's run down and closed. I was so hoping that would be open. I I'm desperately need something, a Red Bull, something like that. But, I'll tell you what they do have is, uh, let's see, what do they have here? Nothing to drink, but they got old books and fresh eggs. <laughs> Sweet. So, you know, if you're thirsty and you're out here in uh, Sweetwater Station, don't go to the station because it's closed. But they got eggs and books. It's like peanut butter and jelly.